Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back with a brand new video into my channel, Apex. So, guys, here to in this video, I'm going to show you the best settings of Fortnite for low end PCs and also for the high end PCs. Which DX version is better for you, and how can you get the more and the stable FPS on your PC according to your guys' specs? And how can you choose the best DX version? Guys, this video is also for the high end PCs and also for the low end PCs. So make sure to watch this complete video till the end and if this is your first time here onto my channel Apex, so guys make sure to guys subscribe and also give this video a big thumbs up and also turn on the bell notification therefore you never miss out any next video update for my this channel. So guys with this thing and time let's just jump into this video. So guys the first thing which we are going to do I also give you the settings file of the Fortnite into the descriptions of my that video. Just go there and download that boost pack file for your PC. So guys, the first thing which you need to do in your Fortnite settings, that is guys, just simply copy my the settings on your PC. Guys, if you have a good PC, so just set out the settings first, you need to just select out the Windows mode onto the full screen because it is also help out you to guys reducing your input delay. So next thing which is the resolution, it depends on your PC. If you have a good PC, so just you can set it onto the 920 and if you have a low end PC, so just set it onto the 720p. Guys, this is best for your PCs. If you have the low end PC or if you have the high end PC, just guys choose the best resolution according to your PC specs. Guys, next here is the brightness. This is according to your preference. I'm using it onto the 130 roundabout. So here is the user interface. Here is the colorblind mode and the colorblind strength. So just leave out the settings and go for our main setting which is the graphics quality settings. So first here is the uh, preset of the quality just set it onto the custom and if you have a good high end PC so just set it onto the 100%. Guys the settings also vary on your GPU if you have the AMD or the Nvidia. So I will also tell you which is best for the Nvidia and which is the best for the AMD users. So now the setting is same for the uh, both guys users for the GPU so just set it onto the 100% if you have a good PC. So if you have a lone PC so just set it onto the 85% or the 70% round about here for getting the more FPS. But I will suggest you to go with the 100% if you have a good PC. Next thing here is the view distance. Now guys we can also take this in our mind guys because we are going to fix out our low GPU usage in this video also so just also simply follow out my settings. So for the high end PC just set it onto the epic but if you have a low end PC set it onto the low or the medium. I will suggest you to just set it onto the medium if you have a low end PC and if you have a high end so set it onto the epic. Here it is the shadow so just turn it off on both PCs and everything turn it off on both pieces and if you have a high end pc so set your texture onto the medium if you have a guys high end pc so just follow these settings and if you have a low end pc so set this onto the uh, low settings i will guys also share with you the config file so just go there into the description of my this video and download that boost pack and i also show you how can you use that files so next here the effects set it onto the low and here is the post processing set it onto the low Next guys here is another most important advanced graphic settings so just turn off your V-Syncs, here is your motion blur turn it off, here is your uh, show FPS according to your preference and here is guys another most important settings which is the rendering mode and select out your DX version. So guys if you have a PC like I also show you which uh, on PC you need to just select out the DX version 11 or on which you need to select out the dx12 i use the booth and i will share my experience with you and next here is the alpha mode which is guys which is newly introduced by the fortnite so i will suggest you which is guys best for you guys i will not recommend you to use the alpha mode because it is guys so bad so my experience with it so bad so therefore i will recommend you to just use the dx11 or dx12 on your pc just first i'm going to show you which dx version you need to select so if you have a pc which have like guys uh AMD card so I'll suggest you to guys on more of AMD GPUs you need to just select out the DX version 11 because guys this is work best with it and guys when I use the DX12 on my AMD so it is also giving me the low and unstable FPS with the DX version 2 but instead of the Nvidia users you need to just simply use this DX version 2 because guys uh, 
onto the nvidia gpu this is working guys perfectly because i'm also using the nvidia or the amd both so guys this is working for me perfectly guys this is also based on your cpu i will also show you how can you check it out uh, if your cpu is good for the dx12 or 11 so just go into the task manager go into the performance tab go into the cpu and you can check it out here the cores if you have the uh, logical core processor you can check it out here logical processor if you have more than four uh, logical processor so just use the dx version 12 but if you have the uh, four or less than four guys the minimum value is the four so if you have a four logical processors so just use the dx version 11 because it is working perfect with it and guys also keep in your mind if you have the amd so use the dx version 11 and guys if you have the nvidia so use the dx version 12 and also guys use these guys logical processor if you have the four so just use the dx11 and if you have more than the four logical processor so use the dx12 it is also depend on your cpu course so just make sure to keep in your mind before selecting out this model you, you can also comment on this video i will also help out you which dx version is better for you just guys comment me your specs of your pc in the comment section and guys i will help out you in selecting out the dx version which is best according to your specs next here is the allow multi thread rendering i will recommend you to guys turn it on if you have more than four core and if you have the four cores processor so just turn it on so guys next here is the gpu debugging turn it off here is the latency marker turn it on here is the nvidia reflex just set it on to the on plus boost if you have the rtx card so just set it on to the on but if you have the gdx card so set it on to the on plus boost here is the flash uh, latency so just turn it off so just after selecting out all of these things click on this apply button go to this gear icon and just scroll down and here is guys replace and also turn off all of these replays so guys just after doing the fortnite settings now you need to download this boost pack which is the best config file for the fortnite season 5 in this file i'm going to give you the three guys gpu config file settings which is the amd radian gpu settings here is the low end pc laptops and the last one is the nvidia gpu this is according to your gpu and by using this you can also select out automatically the best dx version according to your pc specs so if you have the amd so just guys use out this game config file if you have the low end pc so use this one and if you have the nvidia so guys use this one if i have the nvidia gpu so just i'm going to use this file so just guys copy this config file from here now go into the uh, search bar and also you can type the one and you can also press this windows plus r button together from your keyboard this window will pop up on your screen now you need to just type her percentage local app data percentage click ok it will take you here onto this directory of the local section of the app data now find out the fortnite games folder saved config windows client and here is guys your game user settings just right click here replace this file with uh, your copied file click on this replace and guys here the setting is completed and guys you will get the insane performance after guys using out this file so guys i hope so this video really help out you to guys fixing out your problem or issues into the fortnite and give you more and stable fps with low input delay if you are a competitive player so guys make sure to guys like this video and if this video help out you so guys make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notification therefore you never miss out any next video update from my channel so guys let the next video allah hafiz and bye bye